Ah, it doesn't even matter. All that stuff is ne miserable. I don't know why they would give me a white item after doing a dungeon, but okay. We'll leave then. That was good. You run to the end and you find a guy who jabbers on for a couple of minutes. And then he leaves. So we'll track down Balthazar at a later date. And I have no clue where I am. Who's this guy? How are the shadows treating you, Dove? Keeping well? Oh, it's the guy from the Travelers. Where am I? Uh, I don't know. I can't fast travel, apparently. Here we go. Now I can. Travel back to Diddenhall, turn in this quest, and then see where we go from here. Like how he starts out, that guy spawns and his weapon's out. He does that all the time. Alright, my inventory is full. They have been dropped in a loot bag. You're back. Glad to see you made it out of there alive. We felt the earth shake and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. Mm-hmm. All right, done. So let me go find a merchant. I don't know where they would be. Barclay House. Shut up. Probably the three lamps. I guess someone would be in here. Anyone in here who's like a merchant? Anything? What's this guy back here? Oh, probably upstairs, looks like. Ooh, I can loot this footlocker, but I can't even carry anything, even if I wanted to open it. Have a seat. Shut up. I hate it when people tell me to sit down. I'll sit down wherever I want. Alright, no one in there. It's a dead end. Dead end. Alright, what's this plus sign? I don't know where any of this stuff is in this town. Actually, I should check the map instead of wandering around. Whoops. Here you go. That's a healer. Remember, I found her. I needed her. Jump point. Recover Brothers Till's books. Another jump point. Another jump point. More jump points. That's out of town, actually. Here we go. All everyone's in one building. I guess they all feared the plague. Every one of them feared the plague, so they all ran in one building. Whoever wasn't infected. All right. This is a unique room. You start off on the second floor. Alright, who are you? Yeah, which who's who is the merchant? There you go. We'd normally be better stocked, but with the blood plague, well. Alright, shop. Damn, she has a lot of good stuff. The booming staff of the soothsayer. Uh, like for all that money, it's not really much better than what I have. Again, booming chakra rooms, once again, like, it's not that great. I have gear ahead of my level. Like, I consider these these minor healing potions just because I really like, I need healing potions. But other than that, there's really nothing I would go out of my way for. Alright, average speed, average speed, it does a little bit more damage, blah blah blah. It's more based around mana and ice, but I basically have all that and then some more for my twin souls. So I'm going to sell this rim scythe. Scepter of Dusk. As you already know, scepters, I don't like them because 
they use up a tiny chunk of mana every time you fire them. I don't use hammers. Steel long swords, longbow, great sword, great sword, fine steel chakrams. And you can see we have two of the same item, one with fire and one with ice. Elm staff. I'll keep that around just in case my staff starts to break. Squire scepter, nope. Inductive staff. Again, another good staff. Static staff. Numbing staff. Alright, just have a couple of st uh, staves on hand. I think I'll sell this one. Yeah, those two are the same. This one's, what, lightning and ice? That one's just all fire, but it, you can socket it. Right, here we go. Cotton shoes. I'll sell it. I socketed it, and that made it better. Alright, days and gloves. Nope. Warrior's gloves. I need finesse. Uh, it's better, but I mean, like, plus 10 mana. I already have that on these, so no. Richard Gauntlets. Squire's Talisman. I said I would socket it and see what happens. Right? Not this one. Here's another good one. Bronze Talisman. I'll socket both of them because I have way more than enough normal sockets. Here we go. Leather Shoes. Oh, no, not leather shoes. Linen shoes. Ah, look at the defense. Never mind. Never mind. Right, I'm rather wealthy at this point in the game. Prism uh, prismatic dusk. Scarwood Bark. All this stuff I'll never use because I don't intend to go into uh, alchemy. Oh, such a pain. Look at all this stuff I... Oh, never mind. That's actually a pretty short list. Sell all this garbage. For next to no money, but it's okay. Here we go. A Gem of Thunder. Sell that. Canarock Gossamer. I don't even know if I'll ever use that. Support component. Combine it with a, well, a cone component. Steel brace. Yeah. Basic moonlight bindings. Combined with a core component. I still have these stupid Red Legion daggers I can't get rid of. Sell her bones. I'll sell her four skulls. She'll actually buy that. Oh, that's stolen. How they know it's stolen goods, I'll never know. Come back anytime. Actually, wait, what does she You're have? Always welcome at the Crofters Guild. I think she has like. There you go, Amulet of Dismantling. A simple copper pen, uh, pendulum. Or, no, not pendulum. Pendant. Ugh. Hey, hey, here's something that's good. Diviner's Necklace, plus 10% mana. Buy that. Alright, what's this minor magic ampli amplification? Does mo bonus magic damage, I guess, for a certain amount of time. I never need mana regen. All I need is really minor healing. Minor mana, minor health, minor health, minor health, minor assassin's evasion, minor healing potion, minor mana potion. This merchant won't allow you to peek at. Ah, oh, come on! She won't allow me to peek at it before purchasing it. What the fuck? Come back anytime. That sucks. I right, this guy has a quest. And I ended up using the lab. 
I, I want to talk to this guy. It's not letting me target him. Here we go. Murdoch Hain. The malicious store of potions has been used up. We lost our alchemist nearly a month ago. Now it's up to me to resupply reagents and brew the potions. Somehow. What reagents do you now, need? The problem is boggers. And the best thing against them would be fire. So it's fire potions. Tinder twig and scarwood bark. Oh, good, because I totally just sold that. It's been far too dangerous for the likes of me. Uh, fire kills boggards. Yes, it does. You do seem the brave and heroic sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Tinder twigs often in that cave-like pass south of the lake, and scarwood barks found by the ruins in northern Glendora Wood. All right, goodbye. Gathering flames. Which sucks, because I just sold that stuff. I could buy it back, I'm assuming, but... Let me see the quest. Actually look at it first. I already have Scarwood Bark. I just need Tenderwood, or Tenderwig. Probably just one of them. Huh? So where is she? Let me see if I sold her any. Shut up. Where's the buyback? There you go. Probably way at the bottom. That's leech wood. Here you go. Scarwood's over there. There you go. Tender twig. War equipment. Come back anytime. Is that it? Yep, that's it. That's all I need to turn in the quest. All right, good. If I could talk, talk to him. Kester and Cora. They're the cornerstones that hold this village up. Okay. Wait, what do you need again? Twig, which is easiest found in Pass. Here's a fire damage Scarlet potion. Bark. Now this is good news indeed. Here, have this for your efforts. Alright, got a ton of gold. I guess I need more. More than one. Can I help you? You're always welcome at the crop. Buy back my buy back the uh the other stuff, the bark. Who would have thought that all this stuff I'd considered for junk, immediately two feet away, I'd actually need it for a quest? I don't need nine. How about just buying back, like, two? Come back Oops. Whoa. <laughs> I just went right through her. Oops. Come on. Let me talk to him. The lab is getting in the way. Kester and Cora. They're the cornerstone tinder twig, which is easiest found in Here are some reagents. Ah, fine specimens too. Have this for your trouble. Alright. Remove tender twig and scarwood bark. Is that it? How much do you need for the quest? Kester and Cora. They're the corner tinder twig, which is easiest found in iron. I guess it's a, just a quest you can constantly turn in again and again. Let me see. Oh, it's a task. That's what it is. You can just keep turning in tasks again and again if you keep getting the stuff. But, okay, so I have no side quests at the moment. So now I can either do the faction quests, or I could go ahead and do the main quest, which I haven't done in forever, Into the Light. Alright, uh, should I do a main quest? Or should I go ahead and do a road patrol? Uh, let's do a main quest. We haven't done that in a long time just auto saved because I picked the main quest I find that pretty funny now before I forget inventory armor I need to find a new robe I haven't found a new robe yet in the, in the longest there you go more mana invest in the mastery abilities namely staff mastery You'll maximize your damage. Alright, so now so long ago we started something called the main quest. And now it's time to finally continue it. Oops, whoa. Go to Arden's hut, which I actually passed several times while doing main uh, side quests. We'll finally get back to the main quest, which I don't even remember what it was. 
I remember is killing spiders, trolls, everything at some point. 